I wanted to do a bonus video today where I did a lighter comparison because there are two very famous petrol lighters, or liquid fuel lighters, whatever you want to call them. Zippo being very famous, and the Imco being not so much. People who really know their lighters know of these lighters, and they're very, very good, but sadly I don't think enough people know about them. And I'm going to say the controversial thing, that I think the Imco is the best uh, petrol lighter ever made. Uh, better than the Zippo. I mean, obviously I really like the Zippo, don't get me wrong there. But... There's just something about the Imcos, I think, that means that they have a sort of heads-up advantage. So, there are several models of Imco, so you can go for one that, you know, is personal preference for you. This one is the 6600, or guess 6600. This one's often known as the Imco Junior, because it's a slightly smaller model than the rest of them. Height-wise, it's very similar in height to a Zippo, but it has several advantages, which I'll go into now, so... Obviously, height it's the same, but it's a bit smaller, which is always an advantage if you've got it in your pocket. However, if you do prefer a big feel, you might want to go for the bigger Imcos or stick with a Zippo. So I'm going to use a solid brass Zippo as an example in this video, simply because the brass Zippos are better than the normal Zippos, which I still don't fully understand why, but they do have tighter tolerances, and one of the things that means is you get less fuel evaporation because there's less spaces for it to leak out from in the lighter, which means... The brass zippos simply last longer between refueling, which is always good, it just saves you money and it's, you know, helpful. So, I'd say for fuel economy, you get two weeks max out of a brass zippo, and with the Imco, you can get three to four weeks if you're lucky. So, with a normal zippo, I'd say you only get one week really before all the fuel evaporates. Now, I've just recently filled these up to do the video, so if there's a bit of flames everywhere, it's simply because there's a bit too much fuel in them at the moment. Um, so, obviously, you can flip the lid open on the Zippo, and the Zippo's fairly straightforward. You have your wick in there, with your windshield there. There's your flint and striker there. If we pull it out, here, there, that is actually a tighter connection. You've got your um, liquid fuel stored in the cotton type material under there, and the wick is at the top side of there as well. And you've got this thing here if you want to keep the lid open, but personally I don't really use that, so there we go. Very easy to strike a Zippo. Hard to blow out because of the windshield, which is why Zippo Windproof is a really good design. You can obviously blow it out at the right angle with enough force, or you can put it out by closing it. Now. The Imco is fairly complicated in comparison. It has a light on opening. The windshield bit is actually that section there. On some of the other models of Imco lighters, you can adjust how big the flame height is by having a little thing that you can move over and close on there. So when you open the lighter, it strikes it. The strike wheel is actually part of the hinge, so I'll just blow that out for you. So you'll probably see there that the striking wheel is actually the hinge for the lighter, and the flint is just underneath that. So the action of flicking the button there to opening it will flick the, obviously, flint, so it lights. Now, the Imco has some clever advantages to the Zippo. So I'll just show you first, with storing extra flints, this is one of the things I really like with the Imco now, because this is a bit of an old lighter, you have to bear with me while I try and hinge this open. Alright, so that's that open there, you just pull this down, and that spring comes out. Now, on here, you've got a space to keep a spare flint in there. I've got one actually in there. And that's the flint which goes up into the lighter when you've got the spring pressure down. And that's a storage space for a spare flint. So you can keep spare flints in here. It's all a very simple mechanism. So I'll just close that back up. But under spring tension, that keeps the flint pushed up. So as the flint wears down, the spring pushes it further up. So you always get full use out of a flint. And as I said, strike it, it lights as you open it. So there's a bit of flame on there where some lighter fluid's got on there. But the interesting thing with the Imco is, the design means you can pull out the section with the fuel and the wick. So inside here, if you take the bottom cap off, is just the cotton where all the fuel is, very straightforward. So I'll just demonstrate that. Just being careful how I touch this because obviously it's quite warm. But you simply unscrew this. And there you have your cotton that's soaked with the fuel. 
Obviously the wick goes at the very top of there as well, same as the Zippo. But a system like this you can probably see gives you better fuel retention because of its design. Not much is going to leak, uh, leak out between this bottom cap and you know, the body of the metal. It's also quite a small hole where the wick is. And what adds to that is the fact that this lid, when it's closed over it, is not going to allow much fuel leak, which is why obviously there's not much evaporation, the fuel lasts longer in an IMCO. But the interesting thing, which I really like for the IMCO of a design like this, is you can strike a lighter when it lights. There we go. You can pull this out, and then you've got this that you can put on a flat surface, and you can use it either like a candle, you can use it to light things that are hard to get out with the lighter, or I've seen people put it down and heat stuff over it. Obviously, it's not very wind resistant as you just saw like that, because there's nothing, there's no guard around it like there would be of the actual lighter. However, it's very easy just to strike it up again and just pull it out. So yeah, you can have it on a table and you could heat a cup over it. Obviously, it's not as good as having a camping stove, but it will at least produce heat, you know, above it, or act as a candle if you just wanted it sitting somewhere. So, that's the IMCO design. So, as I was saying, the reasons I think this is better than the Zippo, you've got more accessibility. With that bit you can pull out, you can get into tight spaces to light stuff as a utility that you wouldn't be able to do with the Zippo. Better fuel retention, brass Zippo, although better than the normal Zippo, it's still going to run out in about two weeks. This could last you up to a month. Um, better flint storage in my opinion and everything like that you can store them in the bottom of a Zippo case but it's not the best place to store them you know with this it's got an actual compartment for them and I like the compact strike on open design because it just means with one hand I'll put this down before I do that and you know lose it with one hand you can actually strike it open like that although for safety reasons holding a lighter I would always want to do it with two hands but you know you can do that Ooh. <laughs> that was a bit exciting but yeah you can always do that so yeah so to sum it up in my opinion IMCOs are much better than Zippos because you've got a lighter that does all the same thing in the same size but actually holds the fuel for longer than the Zippo because of its better design I like the flick on open maybe some people don't like that but personally I do like that I like that you can remove this section that makes it you know much better as a utility lighter you can sp uh, store spare flints in it better than the Zippo. And all in all, I think it's a really nice lighter. And I'm saying the bigger models also have a flame adjuster. So you can have a big or small flame depending on what you want. Because you can let more or less oxygen in with the guard. So, don't get me wrong, I do love the Zippos. But I think the Imco is sadly overlooked by a lot of people when they argue what the best lighters are. Simply because I don't think they know they exist. But the Imcos are really, really practical. Um, you know, compared to a Zippo, but both are very good lighters.